13 Nissan Altima sedan, 2010. Small tip, you do not need these two. These are only for four pin. 20 pin is ready bypass. Go to program key, select from type, smart key, 20 pin code, and type one. This will already program and erase the keys. So ignition off, as the lights on. It's erased, not erased, in case you guys are looking in that. Now, this one, you just press and hold the button till it turns on. Not press and release, press and hold. But it will turn on. Then press OK. Switch ignition off. This one is press the button immediately. Don't worry about this one. Press the button immediately light will flash and you put the key right next to it <coughs> see it blinking now I'll wake up see the light flash five times once it does that that means it's it's doing the programming if not you have to go back again click yes mobilize it off it was so click yes switch ignition off Success. Now we have to get that one into. So put the second key in. Same thing. Press the button, let it flash. Put the key right next to it. It's recognized. Lights off. Yes. Put right next to it. Press it. Buzzer beep is complete. This one you press OK. When I press OK, I turn it off. See key registration complete. So now, work. Now this key is bad, so remember, sometimes you might check that the battery is bad or the itself is bad. Usually what you can tell is if it's bad, put the key right next to it and try to start it. And that means it works only that. That means it could be the battery or the smart key itself. If it doesn't work while it's away, you can tell it's why those two. This one works, so of course if I start the car up without it, close to it, it starts. And also, Unlocking, locking to verify. So it's all good.